Well, we left a lot earlier this morning than yesterday. Feels good to be back on the road early again. Um, we stopped in Astorga last night, which was a bit of a surprise and a disappointment to some, but it was cool. So, we've just got to Murius de Richivaldo, which is where we're going to stop for um, a coffee. We're going to dip our baguette into our chocolate spread, and that's yeah. second breakfast. Um, we're heading up to the highest point, or near the highest point today, with the Cruz, Cruz de Ferro, which is a big, big cross. And I've got a rock in my bag, which we've carried all the way from Newquay. It's got Gigi's name on it. And we'll be dropping it off on top of the mountain, because that's what you do. Um, so hopefully we get there close to there tonight and then might even be up there for sunrise tomorrow morning which would be cool but we'll just see how it goes can't plan too far ahead Vegan on the Camino has been okay uh, I was surprised by people's willingness to give up veganism and vegetarian while on the Camino as if suddenly we're on Mars and there's no fruit or veggies here. There is a lack of veggies though. Um, I think it just, sometimes the options just get a bit boring, like pilgrim menus, usually like Heinz spaghetti, mixed salad. Um, I think it just gets a bit boring, which I guess is why a lot of people end up having tortillas and stuff. Have you been surprised about what's in the supermarket? Uh, if you get to the decent ones, you can usually find Alpro, soy yogurt, not milks. We usually buy one of those and some muesli that lasts us a few days. I found like rice crackers with dark chocolate on which is my go-to snack food and a few fruits. It's going to be very exciting though when we go home and have options, limited options. Very happy to be back in lush greenery because uh, the desert was very brown and desolate. Love to see some green, it just feels nicer. The air is fresh, there is life. just got to Ponte Baden, which is the last stop before uh, Cruz de Ferro and we're gonna go and check into the Donativo albergue 
and see if they have any room for us. It says God bless America. America. No chance. <laughs> oh, can you take a picture? Yes. And then What's we this? have a picture together. Okay. It's my hiking group. Oh, cool. <laughs> she hangs out with like a bunch of 60 year olds that go hiking together. It's nice. very cute. Wait, we can't read it. <laughs> Great. Please forgive me, I thank you, and I love you. Oh, no, 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 Je suis désolé, pardonne-moi, je te remercie et je t'aime. Je suis désolé, pardonne-moi, je te remercie et je t'aime. Had a really good day today. It was a nice walk. We must have done about 25, maybe 30 kilometers, and now we're near the highest point on the Camino. So tomorrow morning at sunrise, we'll be coming over, over the mountain, and then I think it's tomorrow we might be into Galicia, the final province that we passed through in Spain. But yeah, it was just. It was a good walk, we're both feeling really strong. No more niggles, um, no blisters, and in good spirits again, after that dry, desolate Mercetta. Um, Emily and Courtney have just checked in, so we're gonna go meet them for a drink and get some dinner. <laughs> 